Uh, Leo, just ask you a bit your thoughts on the selection. Is it you're obviously pleased to have the, the Ireland players back? Was was there any doubt in your mind about including them all? Um, no, like. A, <clears throat> Yeah, like these selections are always very difficult. You know, if you've a chunk of players that are away um, on Six Nations duty, then you're just trying to get everyone back together. And you know, all the players have been excellent. You know, like it's difficult selection. Yeah, we've we've talked about this in the past. Um, but the attitude of all the guys has been fantastic. I have to say, you know, so um, if you think there was a good chunk of guys here played a couple of weeks ago um, in in the England game, um, we had a group then that represented well. I thought in that Stormers game last Friday. So then it's merging the two together. Um, and yeah, like it's, it's this week is about making sure that we're doing everything we can to um, have a sort of collective understanding of what it is that we want to do um, and be very clear in terms of some of the threats that Ulster will bring as well. Um, because Ulster, they have a good cohesive group. You know, their selections over the last while have been pretty consistent. Um, and it's going to be a great test, you know, obviously full house here and all the rest. And everyone's just really excited about the game now, I think. Um, there's always, a, you know, like Europe is, is special. I know it's not Europe anymore. Champions Cup is, is special competition. Um, with the South African teams, it's just another layer. If you're looking at the, at the fixtures over the course of the weekend, it's, it's amazing some of the fixtures that are there. So in terms of the tournament and where it can get to now, like it's unbelievably exciting. So, um, and then for us, because of the, you know, the provincial, the derby factor on top of that then, um, and you can think back to some of those games o- over the years, like you know, whether it's Leinster, Ulster, or Ulster, Munster, or you know the different dynamics that have, have played out. Um, they're hugely exciting games. So um, yeah, no, we're we've tried to do everything we can this week to prepare as best we possibly can. Um, but going back to your probably original question, like the it's the players have been excellent in terms of their 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 wants to. You know, help the collective get better, um, and that's been the most important bit for for me um, and for all of us, really. Um, you know, because there's definitely, you know, there's as you said, you've been apart for a couple of months. Our last game together was was here against Racing. So what we ten weeks on, uh, here we are back again. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 a really exciting game, and it's great to see in terms of the fans the level of interest, um, which just adds another layer of excitement, doesn't it? Just, just on the Irish guys coming back in, the celebrations obviously went on well into the middle of last week. Uh, was there was it difficult to kind of get them get their feet back down to earth to get them going again this week? Uh, not really, no. Like, I think it's important that you celebrate. It was such a historic moment um, you know, to win a Grand Slam here in front of their home support. So, you know, I was at the game myself with my wife and um, it was great, just amazing day. You see the, what it means to the crowd and you know, the players, you know, the work that they put in. So, no, it's an amazing reward for them and yeah, like I, think, I think it's yeah. You have the moment towards the tail end of the last week, then you know they started filtering back in and just get an idea of some level of plan for for this week. And um, you know, I can't fault the attitude; they've been all excellent. Gary Ringos and Caelan Doris were going through their return to play protocol, and obviously they haven't been selected. Did they have a setback going through the return to play? No, no, they're okay. Yeah, um, Caelan was sick at the start of this week, so that's what ruled him out. But he's come through okay. Um, and Gary should be okay to go next week, I think. Um, in terms of the second row... If there is next week. If there, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ross Maloney and James Ryan starting and Jason Jenkins on the bench. Was there a particular reason you went with that split? Is there something you want out of Jason off the bench? Or, you know, is, what was the dynamic that um, you were looking for with that three? Yeah, well, as in, Jason, I think, will give us good impact off the bench <laughs> starters, yeah. So, in terms of that finishing the game. Um, and... Yeah, like Ross has been excellent from a from a leadership point of view. So, in terms of his understanding of the game, um, it, that's really important part. You know, him and him and James have worked together quite a lot over the course of last season, but long before that, even through their school days. So, um, that relationship is strong. Um, and so, yeah, it's just trying to get that right balance of terms of some of that that leadership part in the team. Um, and Ross has been excellent. You know, there's a, a number of guys that have been really excellent for us over the last couple of months. You know, Reese Rudolph and Malibu unlucky to miss out um, on selection this week, but in terms of how he's led the team, um, you know, I think like Sir Luke McGrath as well, uh, Big Mike Alato as well. So those guys have been really excellent, I have to say, over the last couple of months, and which you know takes care of that sort of URC side. Um, you know, because there's so many moving parts if you look across 
the various different competitions uh, with travel and all the rest. So obviously to achieve what they did at the back of the Stormers game. So th that's been really positive. Um, but again, go back to the question part. It's yeah, Ross is from a leadership point of view. I think it'll be important to have his voice. Organisation during the course of this week has been really, really good. So, um, and hopefully they deliver big performance as well. And in terms of Ulster, you've won both games against them so far this season. But even going back probably two years, pretty much every time you've played them, they've caused G a lot of problems at various stages in those games. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a very efficient team. The way they, they play, so um, and because they know us well, you know, so they, they have a really good understanding of probably what we're trying to do. Um, you know they're very. You know they've come out said it plenty of times over in recent years. You know their desire to win trophies. So they're a clearly ambitious, hungry bunch to to do well. Um, so we need to respect that. So um, you know we've the game in the RDS was unusual. Obviously, but there was the red card in the game, and we had a very very slow start to that game. So you know, we need to learn the lessons from that probably that first twenty minutes. So we're not in that situation where we're having to chase the game to that extent. Um, the flip side of that, like the game up in Ravenhill earlier on the season, we, we started the game well that day. Um, conditions were very, very difficult that day, if you remember. Um, they came back into the game strong at the, towards the end. I remember Charlie Natai made that try save and tackle in, in the corner. Um, and you know, sometimes it comes down to those big moments in the games. So um, just for us, making sure that we're, we've tried to do everything we possibly can this week. So we're. We don't start the game as slowly as we did the last day against them, um, but also won't make it easy. So they they, they have a, a certain way they do things. Um, you know the, the strong kicking game off nine. You know they chase hard, um, they defend well, good around the contact area, um, and yet now they've got some good bit of pace out in the wings as well. Stockdale, Balakoon, you know uh, Larry, the three of them are you know have some X factor dangerous players. So we just need to make sure that we're queued up the whole time and some of the threats that they do have and try and impose ourselves in the game as best we possibly can as well. It's been a couple of days since you know, the Belichick and Potter won't play for the rest of the season. How are you feeling about that loss for the team? Um, yeah, like it, it's part and parcel of the game, isn't it? You know, like in, and we're, we're lucky in terms of the squad that we have. So, um, you know, like you, you just got to, you could see it at the time when he went down at the end. And like I, you could see his face, and you're like, "Ooh, I think there's something going on there." So, um, you know, then we're just trying to get that explored. Then, at, at, you know, we're obviously trying to get what's, I suppose, the, the next course of action for him. So, you know, for Johnny, he's just he's gone off. He's had a surgery. You know, it's likely going to rule him out for the rest of the season. We all know that now. So, um, for him, he's just got to sort of deal with the rehab part um, and turn his attention to whatever that process looks like for him. So. And um, for the rest of the guys, you know, they just kick on into gear, and it's an opportunity for someone else to step in. And um, obviously, Ross wears the den shirt this week, and he's been excellent all through the season for us and in past seasons as well. So, um, huge amount of confidence there, and we just look forward and opportunity for someone else. That's the way I always look at it. And it's well known, like the leader is on the field and off it. Have you talked to him about like the role that he'll play, I suppose, in the next couple of weeks with the team in terms of supporting them? On and off the bench. Yeah, he was down at training yesterday, so he's on his crutches. Um, he had a surgery on what day was that Tuesday? So, um, yeah, and Johnny would be influential, hopefully, towards for the rest of the season. So, um, but yeah, the moment is just it's week on week, isn't it? You know, the the sequence of games. Again, we were talking about this last week. Like it's such an unusual sequence of games, isn't it? So, uh, for the URC teams in particular, um, because you've got to go. There's obviously there's a quarter final. You know, if you win your quarterfinal as a semi final, if you win your semi final as a final, so that's three playoff games and obviously there's the setup in, in Champions Cup as well. So um yeah, but like yeah, hopefully Johnny will play a role, but you know, at the moment it's all about the here and the now, isn't it? So for us it's we're not really looking past tomorrow, are we? So it's it's just geared up towards this game. Um you know, as I said, like it's a what, ten week lead into this game, so we've been looking at Ulster, an Ulster team we know pretty well because we play them on a pretty regular basis anyway so um, sometimes yeah you can overthink some of these things so um, but um, yeah no like he'll definitely play a role yeah and um, the lads that are coming back into the squad after the Six Nations do they bring like a certain level of buzz to the team so obviously they're kind of the rest of the squad has been there the whole time is it a competitive buzz or is it a bit of excitement because obviously they've had such a good few weeks 
Yeah, like yeah, they're, they're a really great group, I have to say. You know, so um, they're competitive for sure. Yeah, so like with, with, in terms of selection this week, yeah, there's there's players that are very very disappointed not to be involved. Um, I think the other players that are selected, they understand the responsibility part that goes with representing. You know, it's not just themselves; it's the wider the wider group as well. Um, but that's you know that's what makes special teams at the end of the day, isn't it? So everyone is sort of pushing in the right direction, and you know how everyone applied themselves this week was I, I couldn't fault them. So um, and hopefully they get deliver a big performance off the back foot now. So that's what it's all about now. It's going out and delivering for the team um, everything that they can against a team that's highly motivated. So that's the great challenge when it comes to knockout rugby, isn't it? Okay, thank you. How important is the um, the home home advantage playing in Lansdowne Road and going forward as well? You know, in the European Cup, is that a, is that a big thing? Wait and see. Um, it's the great unknown, isn't it? Um, yeah, like we just about got over the line. If you think back to that Ulster game in what 2019, so uh, very tight game that day. Um, yeah, like it's it's the it's the national stadium here, isn't it? So, but you know, there's a, for it's, certainly there's a level of familiarity for a lot of our guys um, in terms of playing here. Um, they enjoy the occasion here. They get great response from the crowd. So, um, yeah, we'll wait and see. It's pretty hard to tell, isn't it? But yeah, like there's when you look at some of the particularly with the South African teams and their involvement and where you could end up and all the things that can potentially go wrong when you're when you're in transit, missing flights and all the rest. So, <coughs> it's definitely easier just to <laughs> try and nav- navigate our way down here um, than some of the other options. In both competitions, like Le- Leinster might have to travel. Um, yeah, obviously we, we have a trip to South Africa to get ready for as well in a couple of weeks. So, um, but yeah, no, the, yeah, it's 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 a accumulation of a lot of hard work that's gone in earlier on the season. And you know, when we go back to some of those games, like how important they are that you're that you're battling out for every single point to try and ensure that you are top seed, so you have some level of control over that travel part, um, which is pleasing. So, um, which yeah, whether. Does it make a difference? Yeah, well, that's to be to be seen. And Leo, in terms of, of injuries and, and the new laws, um, like ball and ball and hand time has gone up to thirty three minutes, and some southern games it's gone up to forty minutes. Do you think that that's having a, a knock on effect on players? Um, I don't know. Is it just necessarily ball and play? Um, to a, to a certain degree, but. I don't, I don't get a sense like there's a dramatic spike in injuries at the moment in comparison to what's come, gone on in years before. So um, I think the way players are taken care of is better than it's ever been. So um, in terms of duty of care piece, you know, you couldn't compare from, I didn't play that long ago, but you know, not that it wasn't a care, but like you understand what I mean? Like there's the scrutiny on the game is, is higher than it's ever been on every injury. So there's naturally that pressure there, which is, is a positive thing. So, um, and that's all we want to do. Like there's, yeah, like you're playing a contact sport, so there's certain risks with playing the game. Players are going to get injured playing the game because it's contact sport. So, um, but for for us as a for as a club and as an organisation and a, you know, to to safeguard the best interests of the players, that's really really important for us. So, um, we'll continue to drive that.